guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Look at who we have here. The, the VIP. <laughs> we have the VIP. This this kind queen. I beg, praise me, heal me, me, help me, help me. <laughs> of everywhere. I'm telling you. We have Becca, diary of an Abuja mom, right here in the building. I'm yeah. so happy. Decca, yeah, I'm super happy too. <laughs> in fact, you guys, I'm super excited. I'm happy to have Decca here on my channel today. So we've done a collaboration on her channel. Please go there, watch her video, but don't click out of this one now. <laughs> <laughs> finish watching this one then you go watch Decker's and then please subscribe to our channel drop a comment in the comment section yep. give this video a massive thumbs up okay Decker, what do you have to say to my please. subscribers see she's underplaying the excitement <laughs> we've been, we've been we're, uh, okay maybe we'll hey, how on put Anyhow, I like, I like this big pigeon. Yes, don't mind. Yeah. For my on my channel, we don't already happy. Yes. That's why it's as if we're not. We are happy. We're, we're happy, very happy. We've like, just, we've, just no, said, no, no. we've had really good conversation after yeah. like, offline. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Thank you, Decca, for yeah. giving me audience. As you can see, I'm in her paradise. <laughs> to me this video. So I want to really thank Amen. Decca for paradise. giving me that audience. I'm super excited. Thank so, you. are you ready for today's video? Yes, I'm ready. You are know, you ready? You know, I'm We're ready. going to be asking you the hot, hot questions. Please, I beg. Are you? Small. <laughs> so, okay. the first question we're going to ask just different things: YouTube, life, okay. friendships. Okay. What's your take on being a YouTuber? Mm. Break it down. Okay, so now you know that people, especially in Nigeria, people are not quite conversant with the term content creator okay. you know youtuber abroad is that's everything everywhere people know content creators but in nigeria yeah. it's more like when you tell them i'm a content creator they look at you like what are you creating what are you creating <laughs> you know so what's been your experience you know in the youtube okay, so um i think if you ask me one of the best advice for youtube from my experience as one million subscribers that I have, mm -hmm. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear her from the one million subscribers yeah, that she yeah. has? I would say consistency. I think even me, that's one of the mistakes I made, and you have to be very patient with YouTube. Yeah. Because YouTube Word. is everybody's akaraka. You, everybody's um, lame. It's not the same, yeah. right? So if you think, if you look at people too much, you're going to always fall short mm -hmm. you're going to sometimes like for me because i was looking at other people like this girl just came now now and she has 20k subscribers and it made me to i will now sink in i will not post for like three months mm -hmm. maybe one day i'll now be like okay i will now i then i even stop opening youtube because of mm -hmm. that then maybe one day I will now, let me just open youtube it will not push me again i'll now do like two videos maybe if it doesn't give me what i want again i will now get away for like Three more. like that, that, wow. was, that was what I was doing so mm. you have to be patient you have to be um, don't think about what other people are doing learn from them, learn your mistakes um, and time how would I put it it's never too late and go through the process yeah it's never too late no matter when you wake up from like you said mm -hmm. now one person wake up in morning mm -hmm. so what i you know sometimes we feel like ah, i'm getting older why girls that are like 20 they already they cash out mm -hmm. your own cash out can be when you're 40 yeah you're 30 mm -hmm. when you're 50 we just try to put in the work which i'm doing now mm -hmm. be patient um be open-minded i know that people will talk people would assume things um, I'm doing YouTube in my house, and I know a lot of people that think I'm just a yeah, you think about is how to um, give good content. Like Evelyn would advise, mm -hmm. make sure your content is um, adding value, adding value to people's lives, and then be consistent. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Fair enough. Consistency. I hear it all the time, and I feel like it's a cliche word. Everybody's saying consistency, consistency. I just feel that consistency has to do with you know being conscious of. The times yeah. you put out your content and the yeah, quality yes. of the content, content because yes. you cannot be putting out things that don't make sense. sense. And you, putting it out every, every day, every day, every day. And because you're consistent. It, yeah, you're True. consistent. So True. when we let's term this consistency thing right, you know, I, I feel like a yeah. lot of YouTubers don't really tell me what it is. But like yeah. you said, going through the process and just understanding it, whether you like it or not, you have become. An authority and we would always want to ask you questions 
about YouTube. So my second question to you will be um, brand and influencing and all that. What's your take on it? Is it? Do you think it's lucrative? Is it worth the the while? Do you think that um, people should get into it? Because some people just say. I just want to be doing my channel. I don't want brand deals. I don't want sponsorships. Let me just no, be doing. It's, it's worth it. It's. I think it's very good to to influence and do the brand thing mm -hmm. because of course you make money from it. Like you make extra money from I it. I just don't understand it when I hear that. Yeah. Okay. That people just. I want to just focus on my channel. Yeah. Like I don't understand it too because it's part. It's everything. I think it's, having it's a channel is everything because you want to imagine as a okay as a chan, as a mommy YouTuber, right? Mm -hmm. I, I I like to call myself a lifestyle YouTuber, yeah. but you know what I mean. Like okay, let me assume I'm wearing this clothes. Mm -hmm. Imagine I'm being paid to wear this clothes. The only thing I would say is be true to whatever you are. Yeah. Influencing. So if you're talking about a drink or hair product. Let it be something that you are sure of. That's when people will trust you. That you've tasted and yeah, it's not the one that they're just paying you money and you're just telling people go and buy. It. Like me, what I always say is, there's a difference between mentioning and review. Mm -hmm. So if you want me to mention, it means I'll just say, ah, this brand sent me this thing, you know, mm. or you know, or my friend is using this thing, you know, have not used it before, and I will say it. That's how true I want to be, mm. but. Influencing is very good. It gives you money. If you do it very well, you'll make money, lots of money from it. That's how most YouTubers that you know are even making more money. Because they may not yeah. even be making as much money on their on channel, YouTube. but they make more money from brands. Mm -hmm. It depends on how you position yourself. So I'm even trying to position myself in that way. Yeah. Where people brands are coming, like because I want everybody like when are they come. Yes, yeah, so everybody we're here for yeah, it. Yes. So, so I think that's what we should focus on. Influence for brands or things that you're sure that you if you if you use it and it doesn't work tell the brand oh mom you know they work i don't feel like i think so how do you balance out so motherhood i mean you're a mom to three kids three whole kids you guys <laughs> three, oh. three ministers of enjoyment <laughs> i'm telling you so how do you balance it out how do you film your content how do you edit how do you still be, be there for them as a mom and then still your wife duties how do you balance everything? Okay, so help. I have help from I have someone that lives with me. I have someone that comes to clean the house three times a week. I have my husband and then now my kids are older. So we also everybody does All something. Hands on yes, deck. everybody. So I just think that you should just help is the most important as a mom. Mm. If you do over Sabi, <laughs> yourself you need do. What of those people that tell you that I don't I'm 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 not cut out for help? For help. Um it's okay. If it works for you, it's fine. But for me, I cannot. It can never work for me. It will never work for me. I must need help. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm going to be drained. I know myself. I know my capacity. I'm going to be crying. I'm going to be complaining. Yeah. And I'm going to be putting it on my children, on my Just husband. My yes, I'll be doing that. And for me, I like to enjoy myself. I even believe that when I go out, like at least once a week, go and enjoy, yeah. dance, free, be free makes me a better mom yes. because I come home and I'll sometimes when I go out like this and come back I'll just carry my children in my living room here I'll just be dancing with them mm -hmm. because I'm happy yes. but if I if I'm always angry maybe I know that I will cook <laughs> one as in, as in no no I cannot so I think help then for mm -hmm. filming my videos when I'm filming my videos I film mm -hmm. in my living room and I feel most times when the kids go to school yeah but on holidays I make sure they're in their room <laughs> then for editing I edit at night when everybody's sleeping because i like to hear every word i say yeah and when i did i, I realized that when i did during the day mm. there's always mom mom mm. mom so mm. something i don't hear everything then when i'm watching it when it's on youtube no, i'm always see. uncomfortable so yeah. i try to do that at night oh fantastic <laughs> you guys drop your comments in the comment section as we go on with this video okay yep. if you have more questions to ask deca drop it in the comment section and we will be in the comment section we will yes. answer those questions what is this friendship okay. to you how to explain you know professionally like how people you know this english dictionary <laughs> explanation but let me put it my own way i feel like friendship is selflessness having somebody that you know i don't call everybody my friend exactly. that's one thing i learned as i got older before i would say ah meet my friend mm. no i would say what we are Mm. Ah, meet my colleague on YouTube, mm. meet my acquaintance, yeah. meet my neighbor. You're not my friend. You mm. get until yeah. you define it. Yes, until I've re I've seen that this person, no, no matter, no matter. Mm. I can even and if I cannot even call you to tell you when I'm going through something, you're not my friend. Mm -hmm. I don't. True. Yes. 
so that's what friendship is to me friendship is someone that i can rely on someone that i can trust just be loyal to me because i'll be loyal to what you is, what, what's your take with this whole social media frenzy and the buzz in this generation people settle issues on social media yeah. Yeah. friendships marriage everything now is on social media where do you and you know of course you're an influencer you are a content creator you're a youtuber where should people draw the line when when do you know where to draw the line like okay this is how far i can go with this social media thing this is how reserved i should be about certain things where and how do you draw the line i would never bring my friendship or my marriage or whatever to social media yeah. no matter how real i want to be because i've also realized that social media is not real life like it's not always if say we are trying we are real low but there's some things i will not show you no matter how how yeah. real i am mm -hmm. i would never bring my friendship issues or my marriage issues or my family issues to social media i really feel uncomfortable when i see people's stories like family stories yeah. on social media and it just also means that we should be very careful with the people we surround ourselves with. Because it's not everything on social media I get into my head because whether you like it or not, unconsciously, yeah. you begin to think things. Yeah. If you're reading all the time about bad marriages, about abusive ah. marriages, about... If that's <laughs> all you see all yeah. the time, before you know it, you don't know when these things gradually take a toll on you. So I guard my mind. What the Bible says, guard your mind. Because yeah. out of it comes the issues of life. So I don't even, I don't play with that. Yeah. What's your take on, you know, being a stay-at-home mom and being a nine-to-five mom? What's your take on it? I just believe anything that works for you mm -hmm. is fine. I don't judge anybody because, let me tell you, ideally, mm -hmm. I would have preferred... I was going to that question. Yeah. Would you be, would you consider yeah, working, working ever? No, no, I don't know. I'm torn. But the dreams I had was nine to five. Really? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't think I was going to be a stay at home mom for one second. Like it wasn't part of the plan. I I didn't even think about it. You know, and you know, growing up, everybody tells you work, oh, work, oh. You know, yeah, make your husband that's... no go. People tell you those kind of things. So I never for one day thought I was going to be at home. And I've always seen myself as a, as an office girl. Mm. Yeah, I've worked in offices and I've done really well. Mm -hmm. So I've always seen myself like doing really well in like oil and gas. You know, mm -hmm. that money doing. Wow. Okay. You know? <laughs> you know, so at what point did you now think of YouTube and I thought thing? of YouTube because it was actually my friend. So I was at home doing nothing. You know, I've been... I just had my baby girl. So my friend was like, Deca, you have the vibes. You can have a blog. He was blogging then and he was being like KG. So me, I didn't have any clue. I was just like, let me go and copy and paste. You know, then you just, yeah, then was I, was, so I would copy from sitting there, KG. Then there's this Kemi Filani blog. Yeah, that yeah. Was, you know, I was just doing copy. It was not just working. It wasn't me. Then I said, um, like a lifestyle blog where I write what I would have said. And I realized that I'm not such a good writer. I like to talk. So I was like, what's the next step? And I said, okay, YouTube, I feel YouTube. I started even like doing research on YouTube, you know, to know what, how to do it. And then when I said YouTube, I was trying to be somebody else I wasn't. You know, I was like, that's the mistake we all make. We all make, you know, you make mistakes in your life, but you learn from them. So yeah. I was trying to be people that I was not like CME. I'll be like, ah, let me be doing videos like CME. <laughs> let me be doing videos like this person. Yeah. Let me until I found my my own self. Like I realized that people actually yeah. like me for me, like for the Decca, not being someone else. The and I, and I, Decca. Yes, and I, I couldn't even keep up with their lifestyle because I have to be watching them step by step. Mm. Because see, me kept her hair like this. <laughs> So let me keep my head, like, you know, yeah, you know, so I, I still be myself and here we the are. The rest is history. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is the first time I'm actually hearing you say how you came on YouTube. I've not heard that anywhere. Maybe I think I'll do a proper video. Yes, I think you should. You've never said that yeah, anywhere. So you guys, <laughs> look at me, as premium in, content. As in. Okay, if you want to change one thing. Thing about. You know, about marriage motherhood what would it be Ooh. no i don't think i'm not happy now but i just think okay let me put it like what would this. you have done differently maybe i would have loved to live on my own i've said it before on my own not with my parents not with friends no just like on my own mm -hmm. for like maybe a year mm -hmm. 
to experience life life on my own to see life on my own before i got married do you get no matter the age whether yeah. uh, hey, what as an adult i would have wished because um i don't know how when i hear people talk about like living alone i don't really relate but i want to i want to live that life mm -hmm. like just live on your own no children no husband for one year when i would um born now <laughs> you cannot it's but a dream it's a dream that's the only thing i think i would have really wanted to do but at that time i didn't think about it okay Recently, Dina Ikwime was on your channel. Yep, yep, and yep. in case you guys don't know, the last time I saw that video, in fact, when I watched it, it was on 23,000 views. Yeah. I don't know what it is right now, too, but the day I clicked to watch, it was 23,000 views. Like Dina did something. Dina. <laughs> Dina is a dynamite. As in, don't be small. She exploded the channel. As so, in. And I've seen you popping in different places now. I'm really loving it, Deca. Thank you. I'm really, really loving Thank it. Thank you. Um, what do you have to say about that? Having Dina on your channel, <sighs> what what did it do to you personally? Any effect? Yes, it did. Though. She, this, I feel like when you meet somebody that your energy and the person's energy goes, mm -hmm. it just changes a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I've met people that told me the same thing. That actually encouraged me, like off camera, we mm -hmm. talked about my channel and mm -hmm. she gave me some tips. And these tips that she gave me, it's not as if I've not heard them before, but there was something about her that made me take it, like her own, that made me say, okay, no. Enough is enough. enough. Yes. She really helps me and she opened my eyes to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And people like Evelyn, People like, um, so I went for this um, picnic thing and one of the people there told me something that really changed my mind and my life too. Share it with yes. She's Okay, so she was like, when she saw me, she was like, ah, take a long time. I've not seen you since. How, that you know when they were even asking her that which moms would should come for the event, she was like, she didn't, my name no even, she don't remember me. And this wow. is somebody that. I would say she will remember me. Yeah. Like, if you ask me now, which YouTuber will you say remembers you or will talk about you, you will say, I will call her name. So when she said that, I was like, Jesus, I must really be doing a bad job. Like, I've so, I've put, and I would pride myself to be very lively. Mm. So I don't know why I'm not, you know, in these spaces where, um, to meet other content creators, to meet other people, to learn, because I even learned something. So that it really also, Changed my mind, and suddenly I started meeting amazing people. From that day Aww. till now, I started meeting because I even told God that I want to meet because you know you hear this content creators, very somebody squaring with somebody, you, somebody squaring with. I still suddenly I started seeing those videos where they will say this person um, mm, was best friends with this person. I was like, God, please, I want to meet YouTubers, I want to meet content creators, mm -hmm. but I want the people that I will meet. Let them be my people, mm -hmm. not people that I will be worried whether they will go and talk one, yeah, do yeah, reaction yeah. video about yeah, me or yeah. not. If I do something wrong, they should tell me mm -hmm. and let it end. It's not mm -hmm. the one who use me and go and do mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I don't want that. I'll be so uncomfortable, you yeah. know. So I'm really happy, you know, Yay. meeting all these amazing people. Yay. I'm telling you guys, you guys don't even know. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm happy. so happy too. I'm so happy. So, you guys, I think with this, we have come to the end of this video. This video was super, super packed. I have a lot yeah. of questions. I still want to ask <laughs> Deca. Because I feel like, like you've seen, she's, I mean, she's a wealth of experience. So, I wanted to still squeeze. No, we're well, doing part two. The, okay, so stay we'll, tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to do part two, definitely. You guys, okay. please drop right now in the comment section the questions you would like Deca to answer in the part two video. If there are any questions that you think we didn't answer or you're itching to know. Just drop it now in the comment section. Yeah. Don't forget that we've collaborated. There's a video right now on her channel. Go and watch that video. Subscribe. Like share. that video. Share. Everything. Comment. Everything. Thank you guys for watching. Deca, Thank you signing so out. Much. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I'm super, super happy that I did this video with her. You guys don't know. Please also subscribe. If you're watching this video from my channel, please Aww. subscribe to her channel because we're Abuja content creators yes. and we're going to be giving you the best. We have plans for you guys. Yes, we're going so. to be creating premium content, content for you guys. Aww. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.